This is a test recording I made on 21st of July 2022. The idea is to test a few VST plugins and see which ones can improve the end result of the recording. I will use one or two EQs and one or more compressors. Also, I will use this is a test recording I made on 21st of July 2022. The idea is to test a few VST plugins and see which ones can improve the end result. All right, so that is what happens in my DAW or <laughs> digital audio workstation. My apologies for my crackly voice. Uh, lately, I have a very crackly voice, so maybe I should drink more water a little bit. All right, so uh, I'm not using all these effects in my OBS right now. What I have in my OBS is only this one, and that is to reduce the CPU load. So let's check why I have the... Oh, I should turn the, the gate up a little bit here, I think, I hope. Um, otherwise I have to record it again. This is the third time I'm recording this uh, video. So noise suppression. Really? Yeah, noise gate, and equalizer, and then a compressor, and then a leverager. Alright, so let's take a look. Yeah, EQ, compressor, like that. And limiter for the tiny bits. Nothing uh, special, but um, maybe just uh, necessary. Alright, so let's listen to this again this is a test recording i made on 21st of july 2022 the idea is to test a few v so i think that uh, sounds pretty nice right so i spent uh, the last week uh, making uh, this uh, setup a check for hours so um, i yeah i have a gate i start with a gate because um uh, if you don't talk, you don't <laughs> you don't want the sounds that are there. So uh, I use this gate a prefix, and there's quite some settings with attack, hold, release, and some more. Uh, and you can use these as well, but I, at the moment I use only the gate. No more plugins. This free free add-on. Uh, that's not called add-on. Um, that's called plugin or PST plugin. Then, um, before I discuss the other uh, plugins, right? Plugins. Uh, I want to talk about um, the the position of the microphone. Or uh, so what I use is ten centimeters from the microphone. I talk to the center of the room, and um, I'm more on eye level of the um, of the microphone. Uh, and that way, because if I talk straight into the microphone like this now, then you hear those um, annoying mouth noise, not mouth noises, and that's very annoying if you hear that uh, in your recording. So I move a little bit away from the microphone, not talking directly, but I'm also not talking into a wall because that gives that um, uncontrollable uh, bounces. Also annoying. So um, yeah, and ten centimeters away. Because if I move too far, like this, twenty centimeters, then you hear more, too much of the environment. I want a bit more direct sound. So I think this is uh, nice. So I hide. Uh, strange enough, I hide. Uh, and then um, yeah, I found out if I. I'm close with my nose to the microphone it sounds much better than than other other things somehow for me then huh? um all right we have that and let's go and continue with these uh, plugins so i have a gate here all the free free plugins and um equalizing yeah that's interesting so what i did was um, I use this three, three ways. I set up three different methods I used. So I started like that. So I started flat and then I moved this up and down. I thought, do I want to have more or less? Uh, so yeah, I want to have less of that. So I put that uh, less, I uh, moved that. And uh, I continue with all those. 
So that's uh, one way uh, you, you can do it, but you can also do this. So you listen to your track like that. Um, this is a test recording I made on Twin. And then you think, hey, there's something I don't like. I don't like. So yeah, and then you isolate that. You isolate that part you don't like. And you make a loop view 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 and then you find out the frequency you don't like and then you reduce that frequency over here and that's another way and also another way is um well i like the formants that are and all they sound around and the formants U, E, E, they sound uh, annoying or uh, not nice. And those overtones, or how do you call that? And they have um, specific frequencies, I noticed. So I, I checked it out, and I see here on my frequency analyzer that uh, these uh, formants have uh, play around uh, specific uh, frequencies. So, um, but that's but theoretic maybe i could use another um, equalizer on top of this one that does that like so and then later i can mix the um, form and uh, coloring um, equalizer idea uh, with the two other matters i mentioned all right so anyway so i spend a lot of time um so i, I cut off Basically, I cut off the low frequencies because you're not using it. I like uh, a boost around 80, although I'm not sure if that has use because my voice doesn't produce those frequencies. So how can I boost it up? So instead of that, I think you might want to take a look into uh, a plugin like a booster or exciter or how did they call it? My exciter enhancer or booster? Exciter, so um, like this one, you have also La Petite Excite, you have this one, uh, it can boost here the low, and this, this is very nice. I believe this is from um, Analog Obsession, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this is Analog Obsession, I have all his uh, add-ons, and you can boost uh, the low. And there is another one, not that one, ah, oh, that one, yeah. So yeah, you might want to check because they are not all the same and I boost uh, the lower frequencies all a bit different. So it's very sp specific uh, what you want to boost. For me, I found out uh, 80 hertz around that is very nice. And the frequency is around 150 to uh, 200. They start to sound... Um, it gives a, a bit muddy voice like you're in a box or so. You're like your your head is in a box and someone is listening to you. Something like that. And um, um yeah they say of um, the frequency is around four hundred, five hundred that is like um that is quite harsh this very mid mid frequency. But I think it's okay. It's not uh, yet too harsh uh, yet. It's also not a, a body, but the body lives around uh, here. But it's also close to the the muddy muddy thing. I think that these frequencies are not too bad for 500. So I left them there around uh, the, the, the middle. Um, but then these these frequencies uh, sound a little bit harsher, like 600 or an 800. I cut them down a little bit. And then I believe 1K can be annoying sometimes, but I want to have it still in the mix because that's yeah, it gives us uh, some um, more like, like, yeah, mid mid high uh, to the voice. And I don't I don't want to lose that. I Cut that another way, or you will show later. And then these frequencies um, 2.5, 3.2 are 
very nice frequencies, but they can also be annoying when you that's where those sounds live like a and that that uh, mouth noise. I you have to be careful with that. So yeah, I boosted up uh, here, but um, I uh, they don't talk uh, straight in the microphone like that. And then uh, yeah, these frequencies are nice, but uh, yeah, I made a table over here, so um, you have the S, but I use a deesser to remove it, or yeah, I can find out what my frequency is. My frequency of S is around 4.3, 4.7, so I could reduce that very specific, I think. Um, yeah, so that's how I set up the uh, EQ, and I think it's one of the most important uh, thing to have that right, to have that uh, done. You want, uh, might want to spend a lot of time. So I like this kind of um, equalizers to work with rather than using such an equalizer. I think this kind of um, UI uh, with those uh, curves, maybe that's more, f mm, yeah, this is more fluid. So uh, here I have all control of all the frequencies. So that's what I was looking for. So I'm not sure if this is the best um, plugin because yeah, an equalizer uh, it doesn't sound that simple as this. So if you if you code that, then there's a lot uh, to consider, like um, maybe oversampling, and I don't know if this plugin does that. So I'm, I might look for uh, to compare uh, some, but I'm looking for such a kind of EQ where I can adjust all those frequencies. And then. Yeah, this is um, from Analog Obsession, I'm playing, and that is to boost up those then, then that 80, around 80 hertz, I think, or 80, 100, I'm not sure, around that. And that sounds pretty nice. A tiny bit, not too much. And then, yeah, this is a multiband compressor. So I showed you before the, um, the equalizer. Because I want to have that 1K because that gives a little bit like, um, yeah, the mix that you, the, the recording is not too muffled. There's still enough mid-high, but that mid-high can be annoying sometimes. A specific phrases. So when it's too loud, I want to um, reduce it. And that's why I'm using a compressor rather than... Uh, turning it down with the um, equalizer because if I do that with the equalizer, I always I will miss that um, mid high frequency I want. So I just don't want it there when it's too loud. So and that is this band, and uh, that's 1.1k, and I use a ratio of 4.1. And uh, let's listen to that. Oh yeah, I didn't VST plugins and see so. which ones can appear yeah, as a test of few VST plugins and see which ones can appear yeah, as a test of few VST plugins and see which ones. I didn't realize my loop was on. Um, so you see uh, four bands. Um, one is ninety hertz, but I use just use a ratio of two to one. Then I got the band around here. Um, that's a two hundred sixty. That's that muddy. Um, Thing. Also a low ratio, but here that uh, the 1K thing, I use a higher ratio. I want to have more. I, I want to control that more, or reduce that more when it's too loud. Um, then that sizzling uh, frequency around there, not much, just 
ratio of 2. So what I'm doing actually is, yeah, I'm reducing uh, the um, around to the 1k that met highs, what can be harsh sometimes. I reduce that when needed. <laughs> that's that. So, so yeah, that's a multiband compressor, but it's not um, working that hard. I have, oh no, sorry, that's this compressor over here. No, it's also free. And then I checked a lot of compressors and compared them uh, settings. And best one for my voice, for my microphone. And what I like is this one. Somehow this gives an open sound I didn't find in other compressors. So I love this one. So what I think, uh, what it is, is that when there is low volume, the attack and release is longer. And when the volume is higher, then the, the attack and release will be slower. I'm not sure if that uh, is the thing that makes the sound of this um, compressor. But um, yeah, this is my um, this is the one that gives um, re a nice result. So um, yeah, you can check. I have a loads of compressors over here. So compressor, you see all the compressors here. And I uh, think there are more compressors over here. I checked all those and that one was my favorite. So um, then there's low max, but that is more for uh, having more loudness. And when I save uh, the file that the user doesn't have to turn up the volume like that. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is um, making loud. Um, loud audio, and if I don't do that, then um, yeah, I'm not selling something like that. Um, and then this one is the uh, oh, yeah, so um, the the, the base uh, make sure that the base is in the mid and the more treble frequencies are going to the left and the mid to the sides so to the sides i'm not sure if I, uh, vst if I plugins and see which ones can appear as a test a few vst plugins and see which ones can appear as a test a few vst plugins and see which ones can appear as a test a few vst plugins and see but i have the feeling feeling that it does something um, uh, that I like it. If you hear it, you have good ears. I think my ears are not that good anymore. I, uh, it's, I don't hear anymore about, that's embarrassing to say, but I don't hear anymore about above 6K, I think. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I know. All right, so um, yeah, but I like uh, this sound. VST um, plugins and I see which ones can appear this week. And I thought maybe, um, yeah, I can share you the, what I found, how I did it. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.